Hi everyone, so today's video is going to be a little bit of a Q&A, so um, I just thought I would introduce myself more just so that you know more about me. So before I start doing like all these makeup tutorials that you actually know how routine the word Brie is. So I asked on my Instagram, it is routine tea underscore makeup if any of you are wondering. I'll have it linked down below anyways in case any of you want to check it out. But I put up a story and asked what um, you wanted to ask me, whether it be any sort of um, question about my life or whatever, makeup, anything, or uh, would you rather. So I haven't liked any of the questions yet so it should be interesting. So the first question is, did you feel nervous about starting TikTok, wondering if you would get any hate? So um, when I first started TikTok, I didn't really think anything would come of it. So um, if you looked down the very, very bottom, you'll see it's literally just random photos of my finished makeup. And that's all I really wanted to do. I didn't really plan on like speaking to a camera and full on, you know, educating people on how I do my makeup. Obviously I did that on Instagram, but I just thought TikTok was gonna be a fun kind of way of me showing off my finished look. But um, I suppose at the start when I started to do TikTok, I did start to get a lot of hate because I don't know why, but I just got some hate. I'm sure a lot of people do when they start TikTok, you know, you hear the hate and I hadn't got hate before considering I was just doing YouTube and I, or Instagram and I literally had around like 800, 900 followers this time last year. So I was completely new to the whole hate comments and hate culture. So it was definitely hard to deal with at the start, but seeing now, I literally have heard everything being said about me. So it doesn't annoy me at all. There's another question, fave primer and setting spray. So I'll show you um, how I prime my skin before makeup. So first of all, I go in with the Be Perfect Perfection Primer and this is only a new launch actually. I've been trying it out the past two weeks and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. It is so nice to really minimize your pores and it has vitamin A and E in it as well. So you know it's actually hydrating and good for your skin. And then also I go in with the Be Perfect Parisian Gold Ari Illuminator. So I use this before my foundation and then sometimes I mix it in with the foundation or else today I applied it on top before I applied my powder um, highlight. So a lot of you will have seen me use the Femme Lumi Glow as well. So this is basically just the same kind of um, idea as the Be Perfect Parisian Gold, only this is a lot thicker. So what I would have done when I was using this was mix it in with a little bit of moisturiser and as you can see it's very dark so um, it's really good when you have a tan but if you have pale skin the Be Perfect one is a much nicer shade. And then for setting spray, I have a few here. So this one I got in the BTY store in Belfast. Um, I actually got it in their sale and it was only two pound, which is absolutely unreal. And then another one I use is the Primark Rose Water. So I use this all the time for my soap brows and it's really good as well. And then finally is the Maven Beauty Rose Water Setting Spray. So anything with rose water in it is gonna really help soothe your skin and I really do enjoy them. Okay, so another question is, what's your favourite tan? So my favourite tan is actually the Be Perfect 10 Second um, Watermelon Tan and I really do like it. It's in the shade Dark as well for the watermelon scent and it's so nice. Um, I put it on a few days ago. I did a tan routine on my Instagram if you want to check it out. Um, and I showed you how I take off my tan and all as well. But this is it after a few days. So you can see it's actually such a lovely colour and I just topped it the other night with the hydrating, um, the blue, I'll show you that. So I just ran over and got them. So my code works for the tanning as well. So um, it works for like the makeup and the tan. So um, the code is routine 20 in case any of you are wondering. But what I do is just apply this um, to like four or five day old tan, um, do you know, like when it starts to get a wee bit grubby and it literally is so good. So I just apply it with my fingers, or with my hands, just apply it all over the skin, and then wait around 10 to 15 minutes, a wee bit longer if you can, and then I take an exfoliating glove, literally from Superdrug, I think they're like a pound, and I just exfoliate my skin really, really lightly, and it just makes your skin so, so smooth, and takes off any excess tan. And then I go in with the 10 second dark um, watermelon tan, it is so good and um, it's such a nice colour as well so definitely have been loving that. And then throughout the week when I just want a little bit of a top up and just to make sure that my tan is going to last really nicely, I go in with a Silky Glow Gradual Tan as well from Be Perfect and this smells so so nice and it's just really nice and easy to apply. 
and the color of it is literally so like it's nice and gradual it's not anywhere like orange or dark or anything and another question was were you brought up speaking Irish or did you learn it through school so we used to have a mobile in Donegal and my dad would have taught us a wee bit of Irish that he had um, when it was raining and stuff and um, it was just things like the numbers and like the time or yeah the numbers and the time and then when we moved to secondary school then we started to um we picked up Irish as a language just how you would and um just fell in love with it so I didn't go to a bun school or anything um but then when I went to um like high school then I learned like I was taught it then so another question was how do you get inspo for your looks so a really good thing I would say is to watch different makeup um, shows and stuff. So um, BBC Glow Up is on rail for inspo and different tips and all. That's what I used to watch all the time during the summer. And I would also say to collaborate with MBAs and they can, you know, bounce off ideas and create like a wee series and stuff. That's a really good tip for if you want to kind of grow your page and get inspo from other people. Someone asked Asda or Tesco. I have to say Tesco. <laughs> Favourite takeaway? Definitely Chinese. I love curry. It is my ultimate favourite. Someone asked flats or heels on a night out. I would definitely say heels. You cannot pay me to wear flats on a night out. Far enough when I'm up in uni I'll wear flats because we literally walk home. Um, but for night outs, like nights out in my own town, I definitely would say heels. It just makes your outfit so much nicer. And then someone asked, is it nerve wracking when doing makeup on other people? And not gonna lie to you, at the start, I thought it really was. Um, because obviously at the start, I was just doing it along with my other part-time job. So um, I literally had, you know, a few people here every now and then. And um, I used to find it really nerve wracking when it was like two or three people coming at a time because I didn't know who they were. And I was afraid if they would just be talking and chatting to themselves instead of, like with me, do you know what I mean? So um, it definitely is not a reckon at the start, but you literally just, it's so natural now. Like when I'm in the salon, I literally just sit and chat to people. Um, and it's so nice to have a conversation with a different person like every hour. question <laughs> was best thing about TikTok. And I would definitely say it is the amount of support that people give you. So obviously there's a lot of hate on it and all their stuff, which isn't good, but there is definitely a um, positive side to it. The amount of support and love that people give you is unbelievable, especially on lives. I've noticed that people are so nice and in the comments and stuff, they'll always like hype you up which is so good especially if you're like oh I don't really know about this makeup look people will be like oh my god it's the nicest makeup look ever <laughs> and it just helps you out so much it makes you feel so much better and it's so good for um like to interact with other makeup artists as well another question was what part of Ireland are you from so I'm actually from County Armagh and um, I do get a lot of questions like where I'm based and stuff so I'm based um like for makeup in a salon up in Derry and I'm originally from Armagh a very interesting question was how do you feel motivated to do makeup all the time and how do you make time for different looks so it depends to feel motivated a lot of the time I don't um, especially recently I've just kind of I, I don't know I just haven't felt, felt as motivated um, but I think when I see other people do different makeup looks I'm like oh my god I really like that I'm gonna do that but have my own twist on it which is really good and then to make time for makeup looks, it just kind of depends. So usually, um, t or usually TikToks can take three to four or five hours. It is insane the amount of time some TikToks and like some likes can take, but it definitely is worth it in the end. So a question that a lot of people have been asking is how am I finding lockdown? So we're in our third lockdown and it's been near enough a year anniversary since the first lockdown. And it's unbelievable what has changed in a year and that it's actually been a year like does anyone else think oh my god I can't believe this time last year none of this had happened like we were seeing our friends we were going out like my birthday is on Friday and I remember this time last year going out in my town and even like up in uni and stuff going out on a night out with my friends it is so mad that this time like a year after we can't do any of that like you actually can't even go into a shop with your family because you're if you or anything like me even when I'm walking like in a shop I'm like oh my god I need to stand further away from them it is so weird but it's definitely going to take a little bit of time to kind of get back into our old ways and actually have our lives back to normal 
a really good question was the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to you now if any of you know me personally you will know or if you've ever been on any of my lives you will know that i um things that happen to me shouldn't happen to other people like to people in general i was walking home from school one day it was crossing the road all of a sudden this here <laughs> um tip axe bottle comes flying out wax me in the head and i i thought it was blood at the start i was like oh my god and then I looked at I looked at my hand. I was like, "It's white. Like what?" Turns out someone threw a tick or a tip X bottle out on the bus, and it somehow whacked me in the head. I had to walk home to my house like for ten minutes, like holding my hand above my head because I was like, "I hope no one sees me right now." <laughs> so weird. Another question was plans for the future. So at the minute, obviously, I'm doing a degree in art, and at the end of this year, I'm planning on literally just focusing on makeup for a year, a full year, just doing whatever I can with makeup, and really seeing where that can bring me. And then after that year, I'm gonna focus on either. Do, continuing to do makeup or going back into education and doing my teaching degree or something else I'm not too sure at the minute so the last question I'm going to answer is would you rather wear colorful makeup or wear more neutral brown makeup and to be honest I would prefer to wear colorful makeup I love how dramatic your makeup looks with big colors and everything and the big lashes and everything so definitely would say color instead of browns obviously browns are really pretty for like day to day but when I want to do my makeup I want to do it proper so I love to do different colors different shapes and everything so that's the end of today's video I hope you all enjoyed if you want to check out my previous video it is a tutorial on a pink and purple look and also check out my Instagram and TikTok for more tutorials and more fun videos thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you later